Alice Springs is starting to count the cost of crime on the town. A number of pubs have closed because of safety issues at night. Some business owners say they can't compete with criminals any longer. Last drinks are being called at two popular Alice Springs venues. The customers are gone and an increase in crime is being blamed. We've seen a major decline in our business over the last couple of years in particular, uh, more so the night trade. Um, um, and the break-ins that we're also receiving, uh, I think it's 15 this year so far. Jeff Booth's tavern has been broken into every night this week. He says the crime is sending him broke and crippling the town. The Northern Territory opposition sympathises. The people aren't choosing to socialise in the CBD of Alice Springs because A, they don't want to be assaulted and accosted by drunken people and, and antisocial behaviour. And secondly, they don't want to come back after their night out to find their car vandalised. But will getting more police into the town solve the problem? You know, I could put another 20 police officers into Alice Springs, but I suspect that over time the demand would continue to rise. The Memo Club and the Town and Country join a list of nearly 50 businesses that have shut up shop in the past few years. But the Territory Government says crime's not the only issue and the town's reputation is at stake. What I don't accept is the CLP members of Parliament in Alice Springs continuing to talk down their town and to continue to paint the town as unsafe at night. But with crime such a talking point in the town, its reputation as being unsafe at night is not going to go away. Alison Horne, ABC News, Alice Springs.